All right, welcome to this video, and I'm gonna do a little bit of calculus here. I'm gonna talk about how to find the volume when you revolve a function about an axis. And before I even get into a function here, I'm gonna give you an example of how just to set up the sketches here before you even get into a function here, okay? And so what we we're, there's two methods I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna talk about the method of shells and the method of disks, okay? And I have a shell here, and the, the basic idea here is you're gonna revolve this function around the y-axis and you're gonna find the volume and I'm gonna draw here I got my drawing pad here is not as good today so I'm gonna do my best to keep neat here uh, I'm gonna revolve about the y-axis here and so the volume of a shell in this case is gonna be uh, we're gonna take an integral here of 2 pi r which is the circumference times the height which is the area and then I'm going to multiply it times dx, okay? And that dx, that, that right there is going to give me the volume, okay? The most important thing to understand in all of this is which is your dx, which is the segment that is varying here, my little segment here, my little differential segment, because that's going to control your boundaries. So now I'm going to have xo to x. That's the most important part here, okay? So let's, let's define that. Well, what is, what is changing here? What's my differential? It's this. This is the differential. This is dx here, okay? This is dx, okay? And I have my radius coming out to here like this. Here's my radius. And I'm going to draw, I'm going to use an arrow on this one because I drew it crooked last time. Uh, this is going to be, this is going to be your height here, okay? So let me, let me just draw, let me draw them all with the arrows here. Here we go. Let's do an arrow for Okay, so here is a, here's your radius here, okay? So now, if I take a look at that, I got a radius here, I've got a height here, okay? And there's my dx. This is the most important part right here, setting this up. So the volume is gonna be the integral, okay? From, and I'll write this all in blue now, okay? XO to X, 2 pi times r. Now what's r in this case? Well, r is going to equal just x. And what's h? h is going to equal y. So 2 pi times x. Now the problem is the height is in terms of y, right? So you have to write everything in terms of x. Whatever d of x is here, all of these variables have to be the same. So let me give you an example. Let's say that I had y equals the square root of x, right? So instead of saying 2 pi r and then h is y, I'm going to have to write the square root of x because that's f of x. So I'm going to say square root of x, okay, d of x. And that's just an example. All of these have to match, okay? So when you see x, you see root x, and you see dx, they all have to be the same. You cannot have x's and y's mixed in here. That's the whole point. So we write the formula first, and now this tells us how we're going to um, substitute them in correctly otherwise you're gonna have to get into the chain rule and all this other stuff and we don't want to deal with that okay so make everything the same variable and it's got to match DX if you match DX you're gonna understand also what axis you're integrating across we're going across the X so that's the most important part right here all right so now we're gonna talk about a second method which is the method of disks okay this is another method you can use but again, you need to know how to draw the sketch before we even get into how to revolve the function. I'm just showing you an example of how to set it up, okay? So here we go. We're going to spin this around, again, around the y-axis like this, okay? So what, what's going on here? Well, I have, I'm going to draw with the arrows again just so we can be a little more clear. I have a circle here with a radius like this, and I have some certain, um, certain height here of this. And together, that's going to make a volume. This surface area times this height is going to give me a volume. So let's just let's take a look at that. So this is, uh, what, is what, what would be the volume of that? Well, the volume of this is going to be the integral okay, of pi r squared. That's a circle, okay, times basically the height in this case, which is going to be dy. Okay? Again, this is the most important step. What is your differential, dy? Okay, now I know I'm gonna be going from yo to y final. 
Okay, so now let's let's go back and draw this on the picture. Here's my radius. Here is my height, right? Which is, in this case is, is dy. Okay, that's just dy. What is my radius? Well, r equals x. Okay. So again, I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to use the same example. I'm going to have y equals the square root of x. Let's just say, just to when I when I plug it in here. So just like I did up here, I'm going to start substituting now in to this equation everything in terms of the correct differential. In this case, we're doing dy now. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and write this out. I'm going to say the volume equals the integral from y initial to y final of pi r squared. Now r has to be in terms of dy, right? r has to be in terms of dy. So where's my r? Well, we know that r is x, but we can't put x because we have a dy. So now I have to define x in terms of y. So if I solved for x here, first of all, x equals uh, y squared, right? From this. So what is x squared equal? Well, x squared equals y to the fourth. So now I have to plug in up here. Instead of plugging in x squared, I'm going to plug in y to the fourth, dy. Now I have everything matching, right? So here we go, dy, y to the fourth, y initial, y final. And again, this is all about learning how to set up the problem. Before you even look at a, a function, you need to understand the geometry of this. This is all about setting it up and recognizing what is your dh here. In this case, it's the height. I'm sorry, what is your dy here? In this case, it's the height. Up here, what is your dx? Well, it's the thickness here of this. Okay, so once you understand that, then you understand the interval that you are integrating across, right? And in this case, we're integrating across the y because my differential just happens to be the height. So that's dy, and that's what we're integrating across. All right, that's it for this video. That's just the conceptual introduction. Next, we're going to revolve a very simple function y equals x about the y-axis using both the method of shells and the method of disks.